Did you know there's a feature in Adobe Spark Post that lets you group objects together like text and graphic, making your job so much easier. If you wanna learn how, stick around and I'll show you. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips and tools to help you share your story. As I mentioned at the start, Adobe Spark Post has a really cool feature. You may not know it's there. It's called grouping. You can group objects, text, images, making your job a whole lot easier when you're creating graphics and images. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you how to do that. So I went ahead and started a project here. This is for a garage sale. I have some information like where it takes place, when it takes place. And I have a, an icon of a garage here as well as the words garage sale. Now, as you can see, if I move the word garage sale, then I have to kind of realign the image of the garage. Now here's where the grouping feature is helpful. What I'm going to do first off is just place the garage icon somewhere on the page and then align the word garage sale. Now, if you get stuck in have a hard time aligning those two objects, what you could do is use kind of the alignment tool feature within Adobe Spark Post. So what I'll do is I'll click on the word garage sale and then hold the shift key and click on the icon. And that way it actually has temporarily grouped these two separate items. Now over here on the right, you see there's an align feature, there's an align horizontally and then I can do uh, vertically. Now, I don't wanna do vertically because then it'll shift and put it in the center. So right here, it looks good to me. And then here is that feature group. I'll click on group. So now when I move, it's all one piece. And if I resize, it automatically adjusts the text size. And that is great because before you would have to adjust the icon and then separately adjust the size of the text and it always would not work just right. It would take a little bit longer, but now using that group feature makes my job so much easier. So now I can go ahead and place this strategically on the page. And then if I want to, I can also group this text. What I'm going to do is just make sure and get it to where I want it to be, maybe about there. And then let's do the same with this date and what I may do is actually remove that dot there maybe align this here and I could have just actually used one piece of text but just wanted to show you that you could do now again holding the shift key and clicking now I have those two pieces of text selected and then I can choose group and now again I can resize this maybe place it right over here and that, my friends, is how easy it is to use the grouping feature within Adobe Spark Post. You can do this on your Mac, PC, uh, Chromebook. You can also do it on the iOS and Android. Really great tool to take advantage of within Adobe Spark Post. I hope this video was helpful and something that you can use in the future as you create your own content. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and don't forget to click on that little bell to be notified for future videos. Thank you again for watching this video, and as always, be good to one another. Peace, I'm out.